So I just got back from the dentist. Mouth is really dry. You know how you go to the dentist? Is it like better to have your eyes open or closed? Like what would the dentist prefer? Because I never know. This kind of always bothers me. Like, because if you have your eyes open, you're just making eye contact with dentists the whole time. They're just like dinging in your mouth and all of a sudden you get their eyes just lock in, you're staring at them. Like that must be really creepy for the dentist that you're they're just like hunched over you, like doing shit in your mouth, and then the, you have just your eyes wide open staring at them. So is it better to have your eyes closed? Is, is there like a policy? Like, oh close your eyes. It's nicer that way. I don't know. Anyway, let's check what's in the news. Uh, we got VR being super expensive. This is actually just empty paper. I don't know why I have it. I mean, I have everything on my phone. I just have it to look professional or something, but yeah. So VR turns out to be really expensive. We got Oculus that just announced that their starting headset bundle thing is going to be $599, so $599. That immediately put me off and I'm not buying a VR headset anytime soon. I got, damn, that's a lot of money. 600 bucks for an Oculus, like, I was really into VR, I really want to get VR, but at the same time, like, that's a really steep price point. It's not only Oculus that's apparently that expensive, apparently PlayStation VR, Project Marcus, where the hell it's called, is going to be around $400 to $600 in that price range. And the freaking HTC, the Steam VR, is going to be like $1,200, like that's ridiculous. I love the VR, I tried VR, I think it's amazing, I think it's definitely awesome and it's going to be a great thing to have, but not at that price, especially not for a college student, like, I can't afford that shit, like, god damn, that's a lot of money. So I'm definitely going to wait for a price drop or potentially next edition that's going to be better quality and possibly lower price. For now, I'm going to stick with this mess. Look forward to the, yeah, this video. Ach! So the new Hitman game is going to be Episodic. As you can see, I made the mistake of buying the super crazy expensive edition last time around the new Hitman game came out. I'm not making that mistake again. The previous Hitman was really fucking bad, it was terrible. And now there's a whole bunch of bullshit happening with the new Hitman. They keep changing the way they're going to be releasing the game. First was supposed to be a full normal game, then it's supposed to be like, oh, you get a portion of it now and a portion later. And now apparently they cancelled all pre-orders for the game and they're doing an episodic version of the game. I don't fucking know. I also don't care at all about that. I really hope to get their shit together though and they fix the game and they make another good Hitman. Because <laughs> their last one was a pile of shit. Yeah, so again, another company fucking up with their game. We don't know what's going I don't even know what... I seen some of the gameplay it looks okay but i don't want to get my hopes up because the last hitman was shit so apparently sony is trying to trademark the phrase let's play i i don't i don't even know i don't even know um last thing on the list is the division sucks so apparently there was like a play event that people got invited to go and play the division and they are all reporting that apparently it's not that great. So, I mean, speculations have been true. I mean, they've been delaying the bloody game forever. And now people are doing graphics comparison, like always. And it turns out to be another watchdog situation where the graphics are looking really, really poor compared to what we have been shown in the past. The people also invite to play the game. I've been getting reports that they're not good. The game is just not that fun. Uh, that people are not enjoying themselves with it and they are also cutting a lot of the content from the game apparently so yeah once again game publisher not delivering what they promised this is starting to get a really annoying trend in all of gaming this is happening all the time it's really fucking annoying isn't it wait who who is releasing the division i have a feeling it's ubisoft but i don't know division oh yeah it's ubisoft it's ubisoft so ubisoft again they fucked up with Watch Dogs, they fucked up with Assassin's Creed, and now they're fucking up with The Division. BAM! Ubisoft is really going for that EA title, like shit. Ubisoft, you're fucking up. You guys gotta get it together. Honestly, their game franchises are really great. Like Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, and maybe Brotherhood were good. Uh, like, they were fantastic games. Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 are still some of my favorite games of all time. No doubt about that. Watch Dogs got me so hyped. It was my freaking like, I love that 
idea of the game. It was the most amazing idea of the game ever. And they fucked it though. Look, I pre-ordered the most expensive fucking edition with my PS4 because I was that hyped. I was like, I gotta get everything from Watch Dogs. Let's just say that was the last time I pre-ordered the game. Anyway, they really gotta get their shit together because they keep fucking up and it's kind of annoying at this point. That's all the news for the I just threw my phone. I thought it was paper. Oh, sh it's fine. My phone's all good. That's good. That's all the news I got covered for now. Yeah. Word around town as I got the city bumping. And frankly, they did not see that coming. I'm the perfect mix of the Gestapo and El Chapo and Picasso. Except my skin is blanco. And watch me drop the needle into a fetal position. Get my rock on. Old friends wanna get they talk on. Making excuses for why I made it. Cause they hate to see me spot on.